everybody welcome to your daily PSA the black Nuna speaks <laughs> um, I I decided every other day not every day to do at least two reviews excuse me a review of two pictures from Super Junior's comeback now their teaser pictures are coming out day by day and I'm like having like heart attack because this shit is funny as hell. Now, Dawn Hayes picture came out yesterday. Inyuk's before that. Inyuk looked like let's see. How can I put this? He looked like a Korean version of Bob Dylan with a mullet. And I don't know what the hell that was on his head. And Dong Hay looked like he had, he looked like the Virgin Mary with steroids and a mesh shirt on. I didn't like it. It's Dong Hay's my bias. I was upset. Ever since SM came out with XOM and XOK, they've been spending all this money on them, especially Kai. And I think they ran out of money. Whatever money they had left, they used it on Shiny for their comeback for Sherlock. And y'all saw them pictures. Looked like somebody went in a basement somewhere and took some pornographic underage pictures. Minho's chest disappeared. And Taman, that poor baby, had some quick weave in his head. Oh my goodness. And you see that perm Minho had in his head? Y'all, that was like, what? I don't know what the hell that was. Because he looked like... Neil, when he came out, first came out in Teen Top with that horrible perm in his head, just terrible. And then, damn FX, they had their teaser pictures. They were dressed up in like horse heads and shit. Crystal had green shit on her knees. Fucking like Amber had a damn Christmas bush on her head. Victoria looked like a porcelain doll, but scarier with that one damn blue eye. Ooh. It was it was crazy. I didn't. I was like, whatever. Music video was good, but they could have like did some more for them girls. And then Super Junior, whatever little pennies they have left, they squeezed out their ass. They gave Super Junior for this. I honestly do think that they treat Super Junior like shit at <laughs> FX because do you see this shit? Girls Generation wouldn't get that. They go out for the girls' generation. I think they're doing this to Super Junior because they're like, oh, they're getting in their 30s and they're getting old and crunchy and shit and all that crap. I'm thinking, hey, Super Junior's the shit. Y'all need to give them some more, you know, stuff. This is it. They just find the stuff out of a trunk in the bottom of somebody's basement or some shit and be like, here, put this on. I, I just think it's sad. They run out, they are running out of money. They is like literally pulling dollar bills out their pocket and be like, here, use this and they can do whatever. That's sad. But anyway, <laughs> I think I want to do like at least two every other day. So I want to do one every day. So a video every day, but every other day. So we can sit back and laugh. But um, I'll show the pics at the end. One more thing. I'll go to 24-7 K-pop, please. On the FB page and the uh, website. And check out the forums and stuff. Got some good stuff going on. Um, Just got to, you know... An interview with Lee Byung Hyun, who's going to be in um, GI Joe, and well, he's in the second GI Joe. He's going to be in Red too with Bruce Willis, and you know, it's going to be great. I got one more damn thing to say. Somebody asked me a question in the comments, and it's directed to me. It's directed towards me. Don't fucking jump in the goddamn conversation when it's not directed towards you. I had to go off on some motherfucker today named Shell because the motherfucker just jumped in the conversation when it wasn't for them. I am tired of that. Have you ever had somebody that asked you a question in your comment just for you and then some motherfucker had to jump in the conversation? It's not for you. And don't sit up here and say, what is YouTube? Anybody can come? No, not here on this page. This is my channel. I have rules here and how it works. Okay? If it's not directed towards you, shut the fuck up. Shh. Shut. Shh. Shh. That's how it works. He asked me a question. Motherfuckers just jump right up in it. You a non-factor bitch in the conversation anyway, so nobody wasn't even talking to you. That irks me. That really irks me. It happens on Facebook when somebody asks you something or puts something on your wall for you. Some motherfucker has to jump in the conversation. No one wasn't talking to you. Like on here, no one's talking to you. They were talking to me, okay? 
all right zip it zip it and let it go now everybody have a great weekend i'll talk to you later peace increase it i love you guys have a great day and oh yeah um, I'm working on some new Black Nuna shirts, so y'all need to go in the shop and check it out. I'm going to have one that says, listen to your Nuna, and, you know, you'll like it. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Increase it. Bye.